Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Sue Rakofsky, and today I'll be speaking with Lydia Nicholas. Today's show is sponsored by Women's Life Insurance Society. Welcome, Lydia. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Great. So lots going on with Friends of the St. Clair River. First of all, tell me what the mission of the organization is. Yeah, so our mission is to provide uh, outreach and education uh, to our community about our natural resources. And we really want to inspire the community to really see the natural beauty that the Blue Water area has to offer, as well as protect it and restore it to what it once was. Okay, very good. So we're going to talk today about sturgeon, all things sturgeon. First of all, you have a, a classroom program to talk about the sturgeon. Why are the sturgeon so important to this area? Yeah, so sturgeon are local to the area and the St. Clair River has one of the healthiest populations of lake sturgeon left in the world. Oh wow. They're at one percent of their historical population um, due to human impacts. And so Sturgeon in the Classroom is now an effort to help educate students about sturgeon and the, what they once were in the area, and as well as helping regain them to their population and sustainability that yeah. they were. Okay, now they can get very large, right? Oh, absolutely. They can get up to about six feet long. Okay, I think that would terrify me if I was like <laughs> swimming and I saw one. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty big. Okay, very good. So you have a partnership with St. Clair County Risa, mm -hmm. uh, and we have a sturgeon cam. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we just announced our new live sturgeon cam, and so we have two baby sturgeon that live in our office at the Thumb Coast Watershed Center. And uh, so now we have this live camera set up in the tank so anyone can tune in at any time of day to check out the sturgeon and see how they're doing. I checked them out yesterday actually and it was, it was a really neat little setup. Now they're, how big are they right now? I could, it was hard to tell. Yeah, so right now they're about eight inches long or so. Okay. Um, when we got them, they were closer to four. So they've ha seen some growth and they'll see some growth before they're released at Sturgeon Fest in June. Now what do you feed them? So they get fed bloodworms by oh. us. So we have frozen bloodworms that we will feed them. Um, and then in the wild, they eat other invertebrates. Uh, so your insect larvae and snails and the like. Okay, very good. So what else is going on sturgeon-wise in the area? Yeah, so we have our annual sturgeon fest coming up on June 3rd. Okay. Um, and with that, we have a lot of different opportunities for students. Um, and we have our, our Sturgeon Squad, which is our team of volunteers who help out with Sturgeon Fest, as well as helping out with sturgeon tagging and data collection with different government agencies as well. Okay. And then we also have our sturgeon naming contest that's happening right now, um, and it goes to the end of January. Um, where you can enter a name to name one of our sturgeon oh. in our tank and the winner gets a $50 gift card. Oh, fun. Okay. Yeah. So where can people tune in to see the sturgeon cam? The sturgeon cam is on twitch.tv slash friends of the St. Clair River or they can tune in at scriver.org and we have it right on our website. Okay. Well, very fun. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes. Thank you. All right. And thank you for watching this edition of Spotlight on Thumb Coast TV.